Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man Prime Time, and you already know you on Prime Time Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house. Wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. For prime time to this day. Oh man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? All right, all right. So let's talk about the 140 pound division because you know right now it's kind of turned upside down just a little bit, I guess. Hmm. Well, you know because we got Sabria Matias. I put number one. He is 20 when one loss and 20 KOs. Yeah, got to put him first. And then second, I got to put my boy Pitbull Cruz because he beat Rolly Romero for his belt. Took his belt in a very, very decisive win. TKO finish. Um, And then third, I put Teofimo Lopez because he's the other champion. And he hasn't lost since he's been in the 140 pound division. In fourth, I put your boy Devin, the Dream Haney. Even though he lost, he still is the WBC champion because Ryan Garcia missed weight. He wasn't eligible for the belt. Therefore, Devin Haney is still the WBC champion. And that is the reason for this video because this video here I say the top two in the division of the 140 pound it, it's, it's a toss up between Sabrina Matias Pitbull Cruz and Teofimo Lopez and honestly, I would say the hardest matchup for Sabrina Matias is Pitbull Cruz. Mm, mm, mm. I know a lot of y'all going to be like, man, what you talking about, man? You don't know what you talking about, Primetime. Tim Fimo Lopez is going to be the hardest match for Sabrina Matias. Mm, mm. No... Actually, he wouldn't be. Because the only one time we've seen Sabria Matias lose is, is to a pressure fighter. Pressure fighter? You want to know who? <laughs> Pe your boy Petro Ananian. Yeah. Petro. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people remember Ananian. Well, you know what this was January 22nd of 2022 he fought Ananian and you know actually won but the first time he fought Ananian your boy Sabria Matias actually lost yeah yeah he lost he lost and um, the thing of it is is that Sabria Matias, I'm imagining this was the first time he ever fought a pressure fighter, especially someone from Russia that has a good chin. Mm -hmm. And that first one, yeah, your boy Petrov Sananian, man, he hit. Your boy Sabria Matias had him stumbling all the way back to the ropes. Got a standing eight count in that first time they met. And went to the scorecards, and your boy Ananian won. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, he did. He won. Now, I know a lot of y'all gonna say, well, he beat Ananian the second time, so it don't make sense the way you say Pitbull gonna be any different because he done learned how to beat that style. Mm hmm. 
yeah, he learned how to beat the Russian style of Petro Sananian, but he didn't know how to go against the Mexicano style. And I'm talking about that Pitbull style. Because if you look at how Pitbull fight, hmm, he don't fight nothing like no Petros. Petros fight with his head up, his chin up. Isaac Cruz, he fights with his head down and his chin tugged. That's the difference right there, my friends. For all you boxing experts in the game, your boy Isaac Cruz is shorter, which is going to pose problems for Sabria Matias for having to punch down in angles. He's not going to be able to land those uppercuts the way he truly wants. And we already know Isaac Cruz throws that overhand haymaker bomb. Booyah! And that's the same thing that caught Sabria Matias from Ananian. Hmm. Seems like to me that's going to be the toughest fight. Instead of someone like Teofimo Lopez that stands up, face out, chest out, chin up. And he gives a lot of room for Sabria Matias to be able to exercise his arms and throwing them bombs. Whereas... You look at the fight between him and Petros Ananian, Petros kept it close. He kept smothering Sabria Matias' punches, therefore taking power off of his punches. But if you look in the second fight when Ananian got caught hmm, and pretty much knocked down and disassembled, well, that came because, hey, he allowed that room and once Sabria Matias started stepping back, getting that room, bow, hit him with that left hand and twisted that neck and didn't give his legs no respect. Boy. So, you know, now how he got him with that shot was going to the body. So if Sabria Matias is planning on beating up Pitbull Cruz, he's going to have to apply the same type of game plan and that's work Pitbull's body because Pitbull Cruz man somebody said he had a fire hydra type head and uh, yeah it's made of lead because we remember your boy Javante Tank Davis pretty much broke his hand on your man Isaac Cruz's head so hey it's an interesting fight for me you know Isaac Cruz ain't been stopped by nobody. And uh, I'm interested to see if, you know, Sabrina Matias can break down Isaac Cruz. Now, yes, he has the capability and the skills, but if Isaac Cruz don't allow him no room and smother him and smother his punches, it's going to be an ugly fight for Sabrina Matias. And he might end up having to fight Isaac Cruz twice. <laughs> because we notice a lot of fighters are not good when they fight pressure fighters. Pressure fighters bust pipe. Pressure uh, fighters actually hang on to your every move to where you're not able to throw the full length of your shots. Think about it. If you can cock back your arm and land that perfect shot, that's a good, feel-good punch. But when someone got their head digging into your chest, you can't cock back your arm and, and hit them with full force. Now, can you? Nah. You got to hit them with hooks. You got to hit them with body shots. You got to push them off of you. All that pushing and punching tires your arm out. So, therefore... You know, it, it's going to be a, a tricky fight for Sabria Matias because this is going to be reminiscent of the one fight that he did lose in. Now, did he perfect beating that pressure style? Hmm. The only way we're going to find out is we're going to have to see him in the ring. We're going to have to see him in the ring with the Isaac Cruz. And Sabria Matias, I'm going to tell you, man, that's the best fight for you. Talk about Puerto Rico versus Mexico. 
man, come on now. You know what I'm saying? That's a straight up sellout fight right there. You could do that in Puerto Rico or Mexico and it's going to sell out. You could do that in America and it's probably going to sell out. So, you know, I feel as though they are gearing up for a unification match. I want to see it. I know the rest of the world want to see it. I know all their fans want to see it. It will be the biggest unification match of the 140 pound division because of how big the fan base is in Puerto Rico and how big the fan base is in Mexico. So I am looking forward to this fight. I'm already speaking in existence. I know it's gonna happen as long as you know they don't slip up and lose their belts, which I don't think they will. I think. Um, Sabrina Matias got Pyru coming up. I feel as though he's, you know, gonna do what he's supposed to do with that fighter. Um, and, you know, Isaac Cruz got Rayo coming up. And we already know he gonna do exactly what he's supposed to do. So I'm looking forward to these fights in the near future. I'm looking forward to both of these fighters defending their titles until that time successfully. And when they do get in the ring, it is going to be straight fireworks. For real, it's going to be the biggest fight of their careers. And I know the winner is going to go on being a megastar after that. Whoever it is, whether it's Isaac Cruz, he will be a megastar in Mexico. Or if it's Sabria Super Matias. It will be in Puerto Rico. So, man, I I am excited. I'm excited. And I can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I want to see it. But uh, I'm, uh, I digress. But now, the other two fighters, Tiafimo Lopez versus Devin Haney. Oh, man, that's going to be my next video. And you know we need to see that. It's a whole lot of bad blood between them two. And you know what? Mm, that video going to be, ugh, it's going to be crazy. So anyway, with that being said, that's all I got for this video. You already know the routine when you leave my house. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm on social media everywhere. Definitely go to the website, primetimetalktv.com. And copy some merch. All right, y'all. Peace and love. I'm until next time. It's prime time.